Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rapid and Clank of your arsenal. Last time we, we used to play this game, we, the game crashed, so we're continuing where we left off. Jeeves, activate the cloaking device. With pleasure, sir. Now you see us, now you... Oh, crud. Cut! Cut! That's it! You've disgraced my set for the last time, kid! Take a basket weaving! You're fired! Get me the monkey! I'll see you at the trailer, Clank. Agent Clank, meet your new sidekick! All right, forget the chase scene and go right to the grand finale. You did read the script I sent you. Uh... uh... First, you narrowly survive a series of death-defying stunts, yada yada. You defeat the terror of Talos, yada yada yada. Finally, you rescue the Baroness, played by the lovely Miss Courtney Gears. Okay... And... action! All right, this is the part where you take out the henchman, then chase Maximilian out of the bar. Try to make it look real, all right? Action! Yeah, that was a weird glitch, and now it's lagging, okay? This is the sex oh, You got the stuff, kid. Now get to Maximilian's office before he can make his escape. Yeah, that was the second time we play a plank, and I love this game. Not that the lasers, they are one hit kill. Hey, Clank is hot on his tail. Maximilian tries to shake him off in rush hour traffic. All right, I love a good chase scene. For some reason the frames are dropping. I don't know why it's like that. Also, last time I used the game crashed, so I don't know why it was like that either. All right, you're doing great, kid. Now, avoid the lasers and meet up with the monkey in the casino parking lot. There's a bunch of ninja bots here, just attack them, like so. Agent Clank and the monkey must put aside their differences and work together to reach that ledge. Let's see some real emotion out there, okay? Crunch's AI was having a having a weaker moment right there. Anyway, the bridge is out. Think fast. How would Agent Clank get across? I'm gonna set the gas box to wait. Grab the fifties to get Gam to send Crunch over there. Gas the box move out the way. Hang on a second. The gas the box is locked in the way. Clank, look it up. Take out the laser thing right here, and then the gas box the follow, because that laser will take out your gas box. Anyway, Clank, 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 Clank. have to mentor the bot for it. Fantastic! Keep it up, Clank. Uh, and the I love it. Okay, this is it, people. The grand finale: Giant Clank versus the Terror of Talos. Don't screw this up, kid. Action! Yep. Ia, 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 Ia. What I don't like about this battle is that this asshole likes to fly the most of the time. That's what I'm talking about. Ia, Ia. Ia. Giant ninjas! You're forced to fight these guys, don't bother trying to skip it. If you don't know where the ninja 
Chances are just look for the throwing shuriken. There should be one more. There he is. I think you fight off three waves of these guys and then you fight them again. Hang on. This is the last time I think we play a giant plank in the entire world. Wait, can we actually... Wait, I thought I'm flying around. Can we actually do that? Oh wait, there's an issue right there. Got the one down. Oh yeah, the fourth triangle throws a bomb. Same giant flight throws as before. Oh, there's a few right there. So where's the last one? Also, notice that Ratchet's not on his back this time around, because he's not in this episode. Where's this asshole at? There he is. Wait till he's on the ground. And of course he jumps right out back up in the air. How can I think he can fly and I can? Yeah. You don't have to fight the giant ninjas at the point. Just focus on his material colors. Yeah. A fourth he's lost the fly. Good. Check the gate, put it in the can, and it's a wrap. Take five, people. All in a day's work. Cut! Print it! That's a wrap, people! Pure box office raritanium clank. Even the critics are gonna love it. You have no idea what a thrill it is to be rescued by a big hunk of titanium alloy like yourself. <laughs> Perhaps now you will tell me what Dr. Nefarious is planning. I have a better idea. Why don't you ask him yourself? What is it? I have a present for you, Snooky Wookums. Darling. Where am I? Is someone there? I seem to... Yes, Clank, it is an honor to finally make your acquaintance. I have been following your exploits ever since your first mission, when you defeated the mind-stealing stop beasts from Dimension X. I believe there has been a misunderstanding. Secret Agent Clank is merely a fictional character I play on the horror Lies! video. Oh, I can't. It's not right. You're my cousin's uncle's son. Nice. You are a hero to robots across the galaxy. And yet, you deny your own destiny. You choose to bow and scrape before the squishies. Where is your pride in who you are, Agent Clank? Organic life forms have as much right to inhabit this galaxy as we do. I see no reason to exclude them. I will give you a reason. Join me, and together we will rule an entire galaxy of robots. Or refuse. Remain a traitor to your own kind, and follow your beloved squishies into the black hole of oblivion! Clank should have been back by now. What could be taking him so long? Oh, so... So the speculation here? Uh... Oh shit, I forgot about these guys. So, yeah, this is Hollow Star Studio, so apparently Dr. Nefarious sent an ambush of Paranoid out to you. But anyways, this is the first time we encounter the four-eyed Paranoids, and if you're on balance mode, You'll deal with these guys ASAP if you're on a no armor run, because these enemies can kill you instantly. 
So if you listen closely, that is actually the Silver City, the beat from Silver City on Planet Bolden from Going Commando. Fortunately, there's a gadget box. Gadget box up there here. By the way, you have ratchet only for the Double sucker. tap R1 to blast off with the charge boots. If you have them at this point. Not really useful here, though. By the way, this is the recording timer is in front of the bolt multiplier. I can't really see how much how much my bolts are multiplied. I'm taking out this guy's too quickly. Take out the four I can hold. I hope your platforming skills are good without flight. I believe this is the only time you have Raptor only for that mistaken. In this game, anyway, so yeah, let me see, that's the bolt multiplier. And here we have the first of the annoying hacker puzzles. Yep, four sections back to back. Well, not this one, there's another hacker puzzle right after this that's also four sections. What were they thinking? Anyways, that is my main issue with this level. Aw, oh, damn it! I fucked up there. Anyways, I accidentally shot shot the green thing. I could have one shot and that through this one quickly. There you go. That's how you get through it. Second part. I wonder what they were thinking when they decided to make two of these back to back. Because there's a room next to us that has another hacker hacker section like this one. Four back-to-back -back stages, you have to get ten codes in in order to get through. Here we go, fourth section. Well, actually, there is one in Future Tools and Destruction called the Crypter, but even though it's motion controlled, you have to opt and turn it off. Anyway, I'll get to that game when I get to that game. Anyways, next, back to go up your arsenal. So this activates the elevator. There's a bunch of paranoids here. Take out the four eyes first, they will instantly kill you. What do you know? Another hacker puzzle. What do you know? Another hacker puzzle. Take a guess on how wild guess how many stages are here. Four stages! What were they thinking? Anyways. This one's not is one of these annoying ones. There you go, got through the first one that quickly. You would have failed otherwise. Anyways, the second section is not as annoying. Also, notice the music is similar to the Infiltrator music. Second stage done, third stage. Someone must have played too much Tempest and enjoyed it a bit too much because I don't like these- there's a lot of hacker sections in this game. Fourth stage. I don't want to do this, I want to blow shit up. In this, in Ratchet and Clank game, I want to blow shit up. This one is just rather easy, though. Just wait till the green one shows. There you go. <laughs> Excuse 
excuse me. Anyways. Hyper shot target right there. Pick up as many bolts as you can. Watch out, two four eye tearing away to attack you here. You just have to shoot them once because they're above the bottom of the pit. This, and by the way, this, when I was younger, this stage, this stage specifically gave me a lot of trouble. There's a bunch of one-eyed paranoids here. I'm gonna just kill them with the Tesla Dario by just walking into them. Or just them walking into me. Now watch out here, drop ship. This drop ship will shoot at you. Okay, it's gone. Anyways, hyper shot across. But you know, there's another ambush here. And it's regardless of what trouble, this was, uh, something happens to the paranoids later in the game when we get to a certain level. But even, but still, the, the four-eyed paranoids kill you instantly on challenge mode if you're doing the wrong thing. Oh, I, shit, I forgot about this guy. There's an Inferno box over there. There's two paranoids, two, two guys paranoid waiting for you here, and that's the end of the stage. Should I go? Yeah, no, nah, I'm not gonna go for those red boxes. Anyways. Clank, where have you been? I thought something happened to you. I was having my sprockets lubed. You picked a fine time for a tune-up. Where's Courtney Gears? Miss Gears has left the planet. What? Well, what about Nefarious? Did she tell you where he is? Dr. Nefarious is aboard a star cruiser called the Leviathan. Um, okay. Nice job, Clank. So, I'll just call Sasha and have her track down that star cruiser. Now, when I played that when I was a kid, so you all get I knew something was wrong in that scene. Because, one, that. So. If you don't know it at the point, uh, Dr. Mavarius has kidnapped Flank and put an evil clone in his place. What his name is, you'll find out later. But once we enter this ship... Yo, dudes! Hey, Skid. How's the stakeout going? Awesome! A few minutes ago, this totally tricked out space limo rolls up and, dude, you won't believe who was in it! Courtney Gears! Uh oh Were you spotted? No way, man! I've been staying out of sight, keeping a low profile. I'm like a shadow, dude. And you're sure it was her? Totally! She even autographed my t-shirt! Oh. You know how much this thing is worth? Skid, get out of there! Hold on a sec, bro. Somebody's coming. Hey, if you dudes are here about the shirt, the bidding starts at 300 bolts. Whoa, chill out, man. Hey! Skid's in trouble. We better get back to the Obani Moons. So we got coordinates for the next planet, Obani Draco. Well, it's actually the third moon, but it actually is a planet, actually. But the third one we saw, Obani Gemini Pollux, this is the third moon we were talking about. But anyways, I'm going to cut off the part here because this part's already running long enough. So next time on Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal, we'll be heading to Obani Draco. See you then.